Hello, Radio Beaverton here, and today I have a book review recommendation for two books about the overall picture of the Pacific War, World War II, as seen from the Japanese. The books I have are older. I have Japan's War, The Great Pacific Conflict by Edwin P. Hoyt, published in 1985. And I also have The Rising Sun, The Decline and Fall of the Japanese Empire by John Holland, published in 1970. Now, I know those are kind of old, but if you look at reviews around um, the internet, if you look on Amazon, they're, they're still pretty much held as main information sources. And they're both very good. They're very good reads. This one, uh, let's start with The Rising Sun in 1970. It contains a lot of diary information, a lot of actual quotes from Japanese soldiers and Japanese leaders that were there. Uh, Hoy, or, uh, Hall Tolland, his name is Tolland, goes into, he, he got a hold of a lot of Japanese sources and a lot of the actual data. This book, actually, what it reminds me most of is uh, The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich uh, by William Schreer, which is an excellent book. Even though it was written in the 1960s, it, because of how he did it, uh, how they, they went to the primary sources. They were pulling information from the primary sources, and so it's right here. There's a lot of the primary sources. It's a very good read. It is a, it's 900, it's 940 pages long. Um, at times it is kind of grim reading because it is about a war, but uh, as it's personal accounts, no punches are pulled, so it, it can get quite grim at times. And because, after all, the Japanese lost the war, so the, the people are really getting their butts kicked. The same can be said of Japan's war here. Uh, it's, a, it's a very good read. Um, Hoyt is very opinionated. He really has a lot of problems with the American, with the United States, and how they conducted the war. Um, you know, you can always find faults on all sides. The Japanese committed atrocities, and and General LeMay got a little carried away with his firebombing of Japan. I I mean, it, it wasn't, there was nothing strategic about that. I mean, even I have to admit that. Um, the firebombing of the Japanese cities. Well, I've, I've read a source that said that uh, LeMay is pretty lucky we didn't lose the Second World War because he would have been number one in the docket as a war criminal. But, you know, you could, both sides, you know, it was a war. Both sides got up the nasty stuff. This is, it's very, this is very... Uh, lively reading again. Um, Hoyt is a he's a fan of Japan. He's he lived in Japan, so he really felt strongly to portray their side. Uh, I think that it's it's, it's highly recommended. So basically, I, I'm recommending these books for anybody that's interested in the World War II and the Pacific that you want to read more from the Japanese side. I mean, I grew up reading countless books and accounts of the main engagements, Battle Midway, Coral Sea, Philippine Sea, the liberation of the Philippines. I, I grew up reading all that from the American side. I, I'm, but until I read these books, I really didn't have any view from the other side. What was going on with them? What were they thinking? There's other books that are newer about this too. This is just a good place to start out. I haven't really found a really good overall source yet like these that is newer yet. Um, I, there's a couple that I have on my wish list to read and I'll probably get back to you on those. But this is a good place to start. They're old, they're kind of dated. This one was before the Ultra Secret. But, you know, I, I highly recommend them as a place to start. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you later.